Carolina system. Found repairs will be costly. Nearly $6.4 billion in all. That covers needs at 17 schools. The study was conducted in 2021, but it wasn't published until this month. Researchers looked at every building on every system campus. Buildings were ranked from satisfactory to different levels of remodeling to demolition or termination. Now, UNC Charlotte in pretty good shape here. The first two buildings on the University City campus were built in 1961. There are now 122 buildings in all on campus, and 84 of them found to be satisfactory. 12 are in need of a major remodel. The others require restoration or major updates. This is good news for UNC Charlotte as enrollment continues to increase. This fall, more than 32,000 students enrolled. This includes the largest ever class of first time college students. But other college campuses around the state are much older and need more help. They are campuses full of history. The University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill was founded in 1795. North Carolina State University welcomed students in 1887. But with that rich legacy comes costly repairs to old buildings. The renovations needed at NC State buildings, including the Veterinary Medical School, total more than $1.4 billion. The repairs needed at UNC Chapel Hill buildings, including health affiliates, would cost more than $2 billion. I find it pretty shocking, honestly. I know that a lot of the buildings are old here, but I find it really charming, actually. There definitely are some buildings where I'm like, oh, like, that's like rotting wood, or like, those bricks are cracking. And like, I get that, like, like there's a building right there that says it was built in 1822. Repairs across the UNC system would cost $6.4 billion. Some campuses are in worse shape than others. It would highlight that UNC Chapel Hill, Fayetteville State, um, are two that are, are outliers as well as UNC Pembroke as, as, institu as um, institutions with a number of deferred maintenance pro problems that we hope that over time we can remediate. The report also measures accessibility of the square footage of each campus. UNC Chapel Hill is at 99%, NC State at 83%. But only 14% of the assignable square footage at UNC Asheville is deemed accessible. Drilling down to instruction space, that number drops to 5.8%. At this week's Board of Governors meeting, the CFO of the UNC system told the group they will be getting another updated report 